Welcome to Annals Animated. Our video will look at an important paper in the Annals of the American Thoracic Society. Here, we discuss bronchiectasis with chronic rhinosinusitis is associated with eosinophilic airway inflammation and is distinct from asthma by researchers from Carmel Medical Center, Technion Israel Institute of Technology, University of Dundee, Nanyang Technological University, and Tan Tok Singh Hospital. Bronchiectasis is traditionally characterized by neutrophilic inflammation, although recently an eosinophilic bronchiectasis endotype has been described in patients without a diagnosis of asthma. It has been difficult to determine whether this eosinophilic bronchiectasis phenotype could represent undiagnosed asthma. Additionally, reports of increased prevalence of chronic rhinosinusitis, or CRS, among patients with bronchiectasis and concomitant eosinophilia have prompted additional questions about the nature of inflammation in these patients. To fill this knowledge gap, a prospective observational study involving participants with idiopathic or post-infectious bronchiectasis was conducted. This study aimed to explore whether the eosinophilic bronchiectasis endotype is associated with an increased frequency of CRS and to confirm that this phenotype is distinct from comorbid asthma. This clarification will help develop more targeted therapeutic strategies. Patients were categorized based on the presence or absence of CRS, confirmed using established diagnostic criteria. They underwent comprehensive testing, which included serum testing for cell count and inflammatory biomarkers, as well as sputum testing for cell count, inflammatory biomarkers, and microbiome analysis. Additionally, assessments for allergic phenotype and bronchial airway hyperreactivity, or bronchodilator reversibility, were conducted to identify evidence of asthma. Results revealed that bronchiectasis with CRS corresponded to significantly higher sputum eosinophil percentages compared to bronchiectasis without CRS, indicating an association with eosinophilic airway inflammation. Moreover, patients with eosinophilic bronchiectasis predominantly showed negative results on conventional asthma testing, suggesting that the condition is distinct from asthma. Blood eosinophil counts, in the context of more symptomatic CRS, are predictive of sputum eosinophilia. This knowledge can help clinicians better identify patients who may respond more favorably to targeted therapies, such as monoclonal antibodies, by improving the prediction of sputum eosinophilia. Interestingly, microbiome analysis revealed distinct microbial compositions in nasopharyngeal and airway samples regardless of CRS status, which prompts further questions about the interaction of the microbiome in inflammatory lung disease. This study advances our understanding of eosinophilic bronchiectasis, its distinction from asthma, and its association with chronic rhinosinusitis. For more details, please read the article by Dr. Michael Steinberg and colleagues. Thank you for watching Annals Animated.